morning, Nigerians. This is the voice of Shifka Rita Jirina Jai, the Akogun Agbekoy of the world. I thank God for what God has done in our lives. A lot have died. For us to be alive today is done by our power, is done by our mighty, is by the glory of God. I really appreciate God for revealing a lot of things that we don't even know that is going on in Grand Community yesterday. We have been in darkness for a long time. God has given us a lot of privilege to know a lot that has been going on between Apostle Ken and all Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria. I appreciate the Hand Lady of African. I appreciate uh, Comrade Owa. I appreciate Power of Five. I appreciate my brother, the Second Command, Mr. Lawal, my PA, for our movement yesterday to make peace among the country director, Apostle Ken Wakama, and all Grand Pressure Group. Brother Kenneth, I appreciate you too. Madam Kajia, the market women, I appreciate you too. May that God bless you all. Yeah, I listen to a lot of voices, and uh, firstly, I really appreciate the voice of Rivers. Oh my God, uh, you are a legend. The Lord bless you. I have listened to Justice for Masses. Um, my brother who came the Masses down, uh, come a blessing. I appreciate you all. The Lord bless you all. It's not so easy. Yesterday, before I could be able to put something into my mouth, <laughs> it's not so easy, but I thank God. We are still on the matter till after one in the midnight. But I thank God, a lot we don't know between the both parties, God revealed it to us yesterday. Uh, in response to the voice of the river, I heard you. Firstly, I thank God I did not take any over from uh, UAG and I've never come to public domain to demand for money for my hotel bills or telling the masses that you should, they should go and pay money to UAG to or any of the group. No, I've never done that in my life. What I always come out to tell the people is that don't give money out. And um, in all my VN, you people should go and listen very well. I've never done that in my life. Yeah, you ask a lot of questions, but let me start with um, what do I know about the money? Firstly, I still want to appreciate the Iron Lady of Abuja before, but now the Iron Lady of Africa for his great, for the great job she has been doing in Grand Community. She's a mother. You mention her as a mother. Yes, she's a mother. Yeah. The first time she, she was the first person to to get to know about UAS. She invited me. And some personality were there. We discussed a little we discussed a lot. We 
he told us a lot about Apostle Ken. And uh, we are the ones that even called Apostle Ken to the meeting. They revealed a lot to him. How his name was in the in the document. They show us some documents, what Prof says, and a lot of things then. That's the reason why I have the mind to come out to tell the masses that they should not go for the first verification they call for. And I mentioned it in my one of my VN when I was annoyed that I could have come out to stop Nigerians for the second verification because the money has never landed into the account for disbursement. But if I came out, the masses will still cost me and the, the, some people will go after me to run after my life. That's why I keep selling. I don't know anything about screening. I wasn't, I wasn't, in, I've never been in a meeting with them. All I know is that I always look for information. Now, I came out sometimes, I say some people that are fighting, that call themselves fighters. They don't have real information before they come out to the public to me to start saying what they don't know. Me, I don't just come out to tell the masses what I don't know. Yes, that is me for the masses. And I still remain, I stand on my words. I am for the masses. Yes, I am for the masses. And I've never in one time demand anything from uh, UAG yes and I will not be part of that in my life a little I have in the system is okay by me I believe in God that where God is taking us to we surely get there so no matter how you get the money if God says you are not going to utilize it there is no way we have had a lot of um, billionaires people trillionaires and today they are nobody so that is the reason why I always maintain my stand as a chief I have been saying this I am not an ordinary chief and God sent me to do so, some things in Nigerians and out of what God sent me is to you to bring unity among all tribes, which have been coming out to tell Nigerians that I believe in one Nigerian. If we don't have love for ourselves, if we don't have uh, ourselves in mind if we don't ever believe in God that God is this God that created everybody all tribes being Yoruba, Hausa, Fulani and Igbo yeah. we still have problems we are from God being a Muslim we are from God be a Christian we are from God be uh, what do I call it the other side third party this just says we are from God this is the same God that created me I the same God that created every other people but we have been deceived by our leaders they have taught us a lesson you know because of greediness they have taught us a lesson of fighting ourselves killing ourselves, whereby all their children are in abroad. All their children are in abroad. So the lesson they taught us is to kill ourselves. We are blacks. We have the same skin. Why are we killing ourselves? Why we don't love ourselves? A lot of people have um, always talk about religious crisis and uh, tribal 
crisis as in labor war and religion war that's all we always they taught us the muslims should always fight the, the christians the christians always fight the muslims why are we doing that can someone want to fight for god secondly if we believe that we are from god why are we fighting ourselves why are we destroying ourselves so that's not the area i want to go i just want to let everyone knows that all we need is love all right you ask me question do i see any document fine I will not mention the name of these pastors that I want to talk about for security reasons. It is God that gives UAG privilege. Yes. That is a pastor God used for this money. But he's not a talking type. He always had himself. He's a man of God. We stay in the same hotel. I met with him. He's a Yoruba man. He told me a lot. I get to know about this. I come across the documents and we keep talking. And he gave me a lot of information. And this man was working with Organ Pressure Group. Sir, let me tell you this. Other grand pressure groups are not fools. An apostle cannot fool himself. Truly, there is money to this person, and I also cannot fool myself. But when they start keeping promising, 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 a lot of people are dying. I'm a Yoruba man. 